So femininity is uh, it has both sides. It has biological uh, biological features, and it has uh, psychological uh, biological and psychological features. And there is a social construction feature, which is social engineering. Uh, like woman, modern woman is socially engineered to be masculine mm -hmm. on a mass level. Yeah. Uh, Nowadays. But uh, when, it, when, it, when it comes to uh, biological, uh, let's say, uh, what does it mean? Standard, like, you know, like, like getting ready, right? Yeah, uh, they don't have the capabilities of being masculine, but they're trying to, so hard to be masculine because you don't have the hardware for it. Mm. It is like to have the hardware of HP laptop and trying to put Linux or, uh, sorry, uh, the MacBook software on it. You can't. You can't because you're not designed to be masculine. So they're trying, they're trying so hard. And uh, because they, they've been fed that narrative since the beginning of, of, uh, of their life. Yeah. They've been fed that you have to be competitive, you have to be... Uh, successful, you have to do this and that, to get the money, be assertive, be, all of that is masculine feature. If you reach your success, you will gain a lot of masculine personality traits that you can't get rid of, because this is the reason of your success. So you will, you will, you will fail being woman, and you will fail being man also. Yeah. So you have something in between. Lose, you, lose. Are a fem you have a female body who's acting like man. You're, you're, not, you're not a female, fully female, and you're not a fully male. Or you can't have, have them both. You have to choose one of them. So uh, getting, uh, getting back to the main, the main question, what does femininity mean? On biological-wise, she has to have uh, XX chromosome, and that's very specific. You can't change that. You can't change your genes. You can't change your chromosome structure. You can't change that. Even by the transformation, like this transformers uh, surgeries that they are doing. You know, <laughs> yeah, you can't change that. Uh, generally speaking, female is capable of uh, bearing children, having children and giving birth. They have wombs, they have ovaries. And they have a certain uh, hormone structure with a hormonal cycle. Like that's biologically what we call female. Okay? Uh, on a psychological standpoint, if you broke down the, the, person, uh, the personality traits, women uh, on average, like that's on, on a universal level, have, uh, have been more agreeable and higher ranking on neuroticism. So, this agreeableness and lower uh, neuroticism will make you masculine. Because women in general is higher in agreeableness and higher in neuroticism, which is the emotional, uh, emotional uh, let's say, uh, uh, sens sensibility. Let's say she's being so sensitive to emotional impact, negative emotional impact. That's what neuroticism means. Okay. Uh, women, are, women are higher, have higher, uh, higher sensitivity towards uh, negative emotional impact, and they are more agree agreeable. They avoid conflict. Yeah. So, uh, from a personality traits standpoint, that's what female is, and from biological standpoint, I already explained it.